I want to continue our conversation regarding the pandemic, or plandemic, as many people refer to it as. And I think it is an interesting play on words because there is a plan behind the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And I believe you have some very valuable information on that very topic. Maybe you could expand on, on the idea of what's really happening behind the scenes. Yeah. Something is on the way, it may not have emerged yet. We are seeing signs, but there's going to be something more prevalent than these introductory signs we've seen so far in the last three to six months of COVID. Yes, exactly. It's building up to something, and that's really well put, Robert. Um, if people can get a sense of that, I know we're all trying to wrap our heads around the pandemic, but if people can understand that something is being set up right now, with, with a purpose. And we've read a little bit about what that purpose is. It's the identification of every citizen on the planet. Um, and I've mentioned already about it being a cover for the rolling out of world government, which is on the World Economic Forum website. And they meet in Davos, they'll be meeting in January next year, where according to other experts, world government will officially begin in January of next year, 2021. So COVID-19, um, according to Celeste Salon, FEMA Insider, and involved in um, being a part of writing these plans, says that it was 50 years in the planning and in the um, production. Um, it is connected to artificial intelligence. Now, this is a lot for people to grasp, but according to William Cooper, who wrote the book um, Behold a Power Horse, he was a naval intelligence briefing team member he would brief the president on intelligence and brief the pentagon um, that was his job um, he wrote a book um, behold a power horse in which he mentioned the whole world had been connected to a supercomputer at the vatican um, for all world problems to be solved by this now this may have been a precursor to ai it's the only hard evidence that i'm aware of besides the other intel that's coming from leo zagami who is a illuminati insider who is revealing this so um, celeste salon also reveals that this world government is connected to artificial intelligence it's rolling out 24 7 and changes are happening very very fast so um, what we're wanting to, the dots that we're wanting to connect right now is, are the dots of the plan and the pandemic and 2020. So let's start with um, the pandemic. We've talked a little bit about the plan. Let's look at how the pandemic or the pandemic fits into the whole thing. So what we know is that the plan was designed by the order known as the Society of Jesus or the Jesuits, who were the ones who are at the head of world power and who control the Vatican. Now, we have a Jesuit Pope for the very first time in history. Um, Alberta Riviera, a insider Jesuit, came out and revealed that he was taught that the plan was created by the Jesuits. The way they did that was through Adam Weishaupt. Adam Weishaupt was a Jesuit professor at the Ingolstadt University. He um, claimed to be an ex-Jesuit, but according to the Jesuits, they say he was actually working for them in creating the Bavarian Illuminati. The Bavarian Illuminati then went on to create the Jacobin Clubs that created the French Revolution, and they infiltrated the Masonic Clubs, and they've been involved in infiltrating everything. Um, and so this is how it was done, just so we get a little bit of understanding of the power structure. And um, so as the world government is Rome's world government, it is also Rome's world religion. But what we need to understand is, according to Malachi Martin, um, the Satanists and Satan have taken over control of the Vatican. And so we're not looking at the Vatican anymore as a Christian organization. In fact, just recently, the Pope actually renounced his title as the Vicar of Christ. And uh, for, for people who've done the research, you find that when the Pope um, speaks in a certain hall in the Vatican, he's standing in the mouth of a serpent. And this is um, a subject we can go into more. I won't cover it right now. But what I want to point out is 
um, just in terms of identifying who's behind it. Once we do this, we can begin to make sense of a lot more things. So, um, Rome sees and would wear a, a laurel wreath. Um, another word for a laurel wreath is a corona. And um, for many years, for the last 50 years, the United Nations has had a laurel wreath around it on its symbol. And so the United Nations has been, uh, has effectively been Rome's Caesar, the, the spokesman for Rome. And according to Avro Manhattan Vatican expert, he says the Vatican created and controlled the United Nations. And in fact, we have proof of that because at their 50th and 70th anniversary, both times the Pope went as the very special guest um, to speak to the United Nations and it was a big deal. So let's look at Rome's standards. Rome's um, standard for their cavalry is of a dragon and the red dragon today represents is China. China is represented by the red dragon. Um, their infantry is represented by an eagle on a pole. Today America is the eagle and uh, so that they are the infantry. Um, the serpent on the pole is another one of their standards and the World Health Organization have the serpent on the pole. So now we're looking at Rome's um, troops and who is operating for them in the world and how they're operating. I hope that helps to make a little, make, make some sense of everything. Um, now, let's talk about what has led to the pandemic. There have been certain world events that have taken place that people are not very aware of. We all know that we've been facing an economic crisis since 2008 and the global financial crisis. Benjamin Fulford, the only uh, really protected journalist in the world today, he used to be the editor for the Japanese Forbes magazine. He explains that Washington went bankrupt to China on the 1st of May 2017 and so Trump has been trying to make America great again and get the economy rolling so that they can fight off China. This is, you know, the surface story. Um, he says he was the chosen one to deal with China but however, um, and given that they have actually gone bankrupt and now as of the 16th of February China refused to take payments anymore from America, the world, the, uh, the world controlled by Washington is now in grave danger um, because they are coming to repossess. And uh, Jim Rickards has been writing about this. He is also an advisor to um, the President and to the uh, Pentagon. And um, he has been warning since about 2016 that we're going to be facing, particularly Australia, will be facing a direct confrontation from China because we are militarily dependent on America and we're economically dependent on China. And um, so we are right in the middle of a great big um, conundrum. Um, another point that I need to bring out is that all governments that have federal reserves have had counterfeit constitutions and governments put in place um, that I believe your some of your uh, other interviewees have been talking about. They are Washington Corporation. So Truth Dash Now, with the website Truth Dash Now, has has discovered and is revealing this. And as a result, we too then are tied to this bankruptcy, but nobody is telling us this. Um, so we have a Washington controlled government here. It is not the constitutional government. It is not the constitution. It has been, there is a counterfeit. And um, they have all gone broke. And the Vatican, who are an occult power, have already taken over our countries through this plan, but things are being set up right now to um, launch uh, their overt control. Um, so everything has been very subtle and very underhanded up until now. Um, however, there is some really good news um, that I want to bring with relation to this about how we can approach this. Um, because what we are looking at is an attack. The pandemic was an attack. 
uh, and it was an attack uh, bringing about world government. And the world government is being brought about to enforce a world religion, and it's not and it's not something they know that people are going to want. They consider humanity their enemy, and they have an anti-human agenda. They want to do away with humanity. They have a depopulation agenda, and um, they also have a plan through immunisation as an entry point for digital ID to identify everybody through the coming vaccination. So that's something that I want to get into a bit more.